Located in southwest Siberia, the lake contains 20% of the Earth's fresh water and could hold all of the water of the U.S. Great Lakes combined. Baikal is home to more than 2,500 plant and animal species, most found nowhere else, including the world's only freshwater seal. But researchers have found that the lake is warming at a rate three times faster than the air. Jonah Hull went to meet two women who have dedicated their lives to protecting Baikal. This lake is my life, my home and my life, and that's all. <laughs> Dr. Lubov Izmiestova's family has studied the waters of Lake Baikal for more than 60 years. The decades of research described by American scientists as jaw-dropping proves the Earth's largest and deepest body of fresh water is warming rapidly. At a research center in a series of tumble-down wooden houses on the lake's edge, analysis goes on year-round, even through the frozen Siberian winter when temperatures plunge to minus 50 degrees. Shorter periods of winter ice cover mean the water temperature is rising, bringing changes to a unique and fragile ecosystem. Warmer water plankton introduced at the bottom of the food chain affect thousands of creatures that live here. Many found nowhere else on Earth. Some are now threatened. The fact that under the influence of climate change, the lake's inhabitants will behave differently is without doubt. But to what extent it will be bad for humanity, this is the big question. We don't know. Once well-funded by the Soviet state, the money has since dried up. Dr. Ismistova insists that won't get in her way. They say that if this lake was to empty and all the rivers of the world were redirected into it, it would take a year to fill up. The facts and figures about this place are endless and extraordinary, but it's only by being here that you get a real sense of the vastness of this ancient body of water that faces not just the potential threat of global warming, but also the very real threat of man-made pollution. For her work protecting Baikal from environmental disaster, Marina Rikvanova recently won the prestigious Goldman Environmental Prize, also known as the Green Nobel. Her four-year campaign against the construction of an oil pipeline through the Lake Baikal Basin saw thousands rallying in protest. President Vladimir Putin famously ordered the pipeline rerouted it was a rare success for civil society in a country growing increasingly repressive. She's now struggling against a 40-year-old paper mill that spews tons of waste into the lake and a nearby uranium enrichment plant that plans to expand and store vast quantities of radioactive material. An accident here could spell catastrophe for Baikal. Rikvanova has taken on the government once and she'll do it again. The lake's ecosystem is very sensitive to toxic influences. The animals and plants that have evolved over 20 million years not only create the lake's clean water, they can only survive in that clean water. Even very small changes in the quality of the water mean many will die. <laughs> Two women whose lives are devoted to this majestic lake a precious resource not just for Russia or the world, but for life on this planet. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, Lake Baikal.